Hi, I'm Amy Hale, hypnotherapist and restorative coach, helping you heal from narcissistic abuse and CPTSD. I know many of you are struggling with feelings of hurt and disillusionment due to the prolonged damage inflicted by an insensitive narcissist. This individual, with their need for control, entitlement, and dominance, may have tried to run you into the ground in various settings, at home, in your marriage, the workplace, social circles, or organizations. You feel that your best efforts were trampled on, leading to the question, where do I go from here? Let's explore some questions to help you come to terms with this and move forward. How do we deal with the gaslighting that they employ? When you confront them about the damage that they often twist reality, making you question your own perceptions. Recognize that you didn't deserve this. You didn't deserve their invalidation, shame, guilt, induction, character assassination, micromanagement, double standard, or constant criticism. You didn't deserve their lies, isolation tactics, or the loneliness that, the, that followed. You didn't deserve the constant arguing, rage, and blame. You didn't deserve to have your worth and dignity stripped away. It's crucial to acknowledge that their actions were wrong, regardless of their rationalizations. You can't change the past. Accept it for what it is, fixed and immutable. Understand that the narcissist from your past is unlikely to change or acknowledge their wrongdoings. Most narcissists lack the true guilt necessary for the genuine remorse or restitution. You owe the abusive person nothing as you move away from their damaging behavior. Remember that their entitled attitudes and demands for restitution are baseless. You don't owe them anything. What do you owe yourself? You owe yourself respect, dignity, decisiveness, and assertiveness. You deserve to place yourself in better circumstances. Become the chairman of Let's Make Things Better committee in your life. Prioritizing healthy self-preservation. Forgiveness. Should you forgive the narcissist? This can be tricky as forgiveness is often misunderstood as letting them off the hook. Instead, focus on not being tethered to them through hate, contempt, or bitterness. Aim to release yourself from reactive emotions, even if full forgiveness isn't immediately possible. What do you do with the ongoing disdain from the narcissist? Declare their interpretations irrelevant. Refuse to let their toxic thoughts dictate your beliefs or actions. Recognize their stupidity and arrogance from what it is and move on. How do you handle the collateral damage caused by the narcissist? Acknowledge that the past cannot be changed, but commit to making the most of your future. Surround yourself with supportive people, pursue financial and personal achievements, and remember that the narcissist can't take everything from you. What do you do when there seems to be no adequate answers? Embrace the mystery of life. Sometimes the answers don't make sense, and that's okay. Focus on living the, in the present committing to dignity, respect, and civility. No narcissist can strip these from you. They are yours to decide and uphold. Videos like this can provide valuable insights. If you need further support, consider subscribing to our channel, seeking counseling either locally or through 
an online sponsor that we have in the description, and exploring our therapeutic courses and books. Narcissists can be deeply damaging, but you can move forward, reclaim your truth, and live in peace. You were built for goodness and decency. Embrace that truth and live in it.